Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Thursday, it's your thought for the day. After a fishing trip that the disciples will never forget, they now have a breakfast with a risen Jesus that they will never forget. I will read from John chapter 21, verses 9 to 12. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there, with fish on it and some bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. So Simon Peter climbed back into the boat and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153. But even with so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. When the disciples come ashore, they discover that Jesus has provided for them. A cooked breakfast awaits them on the beach, exactly right after a long, fruitless night of fishing. Graciously, Jesus invites them to contribute from the miraculous catch he has provided for them. Wonderfully, Jesus is deeply relational with his followers A meal together is not just a case of sharing food, but sharing fellowship. In lockdown, don't we miss that simple act of sharing meals together? Perhaps when all this is over, we ought to be more deliberate in having meals together, inviting others to join us in our homes. Just a simple meal together can mean so much. But for now, a simple phone call, Email, text can also mean so much, especially to someone on their own. So who will you contact today? Well, the disciples sit and eat breakfast with Jesus. And now there is no need for them to ask Jesus who he is. They knew it was the Lord. For us too, there comes a moment when in the presence of King Jesus, our voices are silenced. As we simply wonder at who he is. And delight in his love and provision for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bow in awe before the Lord Jesus. Please deepen our relationship with him and with one another. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Thursday. See you tomorrow.